This week on Loyal TV. In Stroud, Oklahoma, the king of the bank robbers gets captured by a teenage boy. Henry Starr made the claim that he was the king of the bank robbers, but he didn't have much to brag about when it came to what happened in Stroud. Oklahoma had a rash of bank robberies, and it had gotten to the point where insurance companies were reluctant or refused to insure banks in Oklahoma because of these numerous bank robberies. And the Henry Starr gang was believed to have been responsible for a lot of them. Now, these towns were in the middle of a transition from the Old West to um, more modern times. And it wasn't unusual for a town to have telephone communications and automobiles. But at the same time, it wasn't unusual for there to be people still traveling by horseback. And that's the situation that existed in Stroud in 1915. When Henry Starr and his gang came to Stroud to try to commit two bank robberies at the same time, they arrived on horseback. Robbing two banks at the same time had become a goal. The James Gang had attempted it one time. The Dalton Gang attempted it in uh, Coffeyville, Kansas in 1892, and they were unsuccessful. So the Henry Starr Gang was going to try it again in 1915 in Stroud. And they arrived on horseback, got off their horses, and split into two groups. They did take money from each bank. Now, the group that Henry Starr was with, after they received this money at gunpoint, they took hostages and left that bank and started walking uh, down the street back towards their horses with these hostages. They fired shots towards the townspeople. And make no mistake, Henry Starr had committed murder in the past. And so there's every reason to believe that he fully intended to use deadly force. So it's anything but uh, some kind of glamorous bank robbery. This is very deadly business. And those townspeople didn't run away and just let them get away with it. They took action. Now, one of the townspeople, a young man named Paul Curry, sees an opportunity and he grabs a rifle. He takes the shot and shoots Henry Starr, seriously wounding him. Then he shoots another one of the outlaws who's in the process of getting on his horse. Now, this second outlaw that got wounded only makes it a little ways outside of town, and then he collapses on the ground, and the other outlaws actually take his horse and leave him there. The townspeople send word out to all the surrounding communities, and men start getting in cars to chase these bank robbers. He was taking money from those townspeople, literally. That was their money, and they weren't going to get it back unless they tracked these guys down and captured them and got their money back. And with the telephone communications, they were able to contact the sheriff in Chandler. They just get in their automobiles and they drive right up to Stroud. So this is all happening very quickly. And it must have been much more quickly than Henry Starr could have imagined. It really makes you wonder what prompted him to try to do this in the first place. Paul Curry was the hero of the day, but so was the town. And the fact that they didn't lynch Henry Starr, uh, which might have been um, a popular idea, maybe in the Indian Territory or Oklahoma Territory days, not too long before. And so I think the real heroes of the story is the community of Stroud. Don't forget to return next week for more of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard here on Loyal TV.